And welcome back, everybody, to 7 8 I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, it is Horde 28. We played this game on the same difficulty. Zombies are all set to nightmare speed. We have a hell of a fun time doing it. And I'm kind of screwing up my intro, huh? <laughs> uh, anyway, yep, it is Horde 28. And uh, if you did not watch the building uh, episode, then uh, basically in that episode, besides some building, which we did get some done, um, we got prepared uh, for Horde Night. So, um, the plan for tonight is, you can, as you can see, I've got five steel hatches, and this one that's closest to us is fully upgraded. Um, but the plan for tonight is to use explosives as much as we can, and then um, also make use of our AK. Uh, and so what I want to do is I want to Wait till we get a pretty good group of them there. We might mostly just use the AK until they break through the first hatch. Um, and then, uh, you know, once we get a, a good grouping of them, then what I'm going to do is pop the grandpa's learning elixir that I have in my toolbar and start throwing uh, pipe bombs. And I believe the pipe bombs will be okay as long as I switch my toolbar before it detonates. Because that's what was happening. Uh, before it was actually blown up in my hand, which is total bullshit. It's a bug that's you know fun, fun pimps have to fix, but that's actually what was going on there. Um, also, in the last um, building episode, I call it a building episode because that's mostly what we do, but I also do some other things too. Um, we found um, the drum mod, a schematic for the drum mod, as well as the impact driver and the nail gun so we did really good on that stuff and um, so I've got the drum mod on the AK right now and it holds 50, 50 some odd rounds it's really nice so yeah we'll just uh, we'll just AK them for now until they break through that first hatch and then once we can get a really big group of them you know, going uh, in the tunnel, then we'll start throwing the explosives. Man, we will see the XP come in like crazy. I do have my nerdy glasses on too, but I'm, I'm saving the elixir because it only lasts for like five minutes or something like that. I'm saving the elixir for the explosives because that's when we're really going to see the XP like crazy. I didn't have enough steel, unfortunately, to fully upgrade all of the steel hatches. Um, so only this one here is, is fully upgraded, but... I mean, I would be absolutely dumbfounded if the Horde can break through all five of those hatches, including this fully upgraded 21,000 hit point hatch by the end of this night. I'm sure we will kill them before that happens. Let's hope I'm right, though, you know what I mean? Uh, we were able to upgrade or up... Um, Upgrade to the second level of Machine Gunner 2 in the building episode. So that's been done. It's a pretty good group of them, but have they... Okay, they've broken through. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to pop this. Let's start with um, the grenade. Okay, we'll switch to something else on the toolbar, so... Okay, we got 16,000 XP from that, you guys. <laughs> 16,000 XP. Okay, let's let let's let him build up again. Come on, Nurse Nancy. Let's get another big group in there, and then we'll throw another explosive. So the pipe bomb should be fine as long as I switch my toolbar, um, you know, before it detonates. Let's just wait a little tiny bit longer. Okay, let's go. Okay, switching toolbar. There we go. We got over 40, uh, 4,400 there. Pipe bombs aren't going to do as much damage, of course, as the grenades are. Well, we got 5,700 on that one. That's not too bad. Uh, we got our purple sledge turret up there. Oh, oh, oh no switch. Ah, oh, man. I screwed up on that, didn't I? Completely forgot I needed a switch. Okay, switch. There. Now, let's... um. Let's uh, take a health pack. That was... I, I momentarily lost my concentration there. 
<laughs> Go to work, Sledge. On them damn vultures. I love it. Okay, let's let them build up. We've got two minutes and 36 seconds left on our our stuff here. Get up where I can shoot you. Look at the buzzards, man. Alright, we got a pretty decent supply of these guys. Switch. Okay, we got 83,000 XP there. Just because of our elixirs wearing out, and we've got... Oh, man, damn it, I forgot to change again. Bug sucks. Uh, we've got plenty of pipe bombs. Let's just keep throwing the explosives until our elixir runs out. Okay, we've got 3,700 there. All the buzzards dead? I think so. Whoa! What the hell just happened there? Did I switch back before it ignited? That must have been what happened. <laughs> oh shit, Red. They gotta fix that damn bug. Okay, we're fine though. We got lots of health kits. Okay, switch and don't go back until that thing blows up. There you go. 8100 XP on that deal. We have 57 seconds left on our learning elixir. Let's let a little bit more build up. Okay, we got a buzzard. Let's deal with the buzzard. Okay, he's out of the way. We got 4809 XP on that one. Not bad. They are getting through those hatches, aren't they? All right, let's get... I'm not sure why we took damage there unless the buzzard hit us or something. I don't know. Maybe he did. 21 seconds left on the learning elixir. We got 6480 XP on that one. Hey, Ronnie. Take a pipe bomb. Alright. Where's that damn buzzard? Okay, we got him out of the way. Okay, we are out of learning elixir. Got a cop. 62 XP on that deal. Yeah, buzzer's hitting us through the bars there. Okay, we got two points. All right, let's... Um, Take a second and deal with the buzzard. Is that a buzzard or a cop that was spitting on us? I don't know. Okay. What in the hell? I didn't even throw a bomb and that thing went off. These things are so damn buggy. Okay, they are... Uh, there's still a, two more hatches left. When they get to the last hatch, then we're going to start probably shotgunning or uh, AKing them. I don't know, though. The pipe bombs are pretty damn effective, really, if you think about it. I wonder if I was taking spit, and, and that was what was igniting the pipe bombs in my hand. Could be. Is that a buzzard or a cop? It sounds like a cop. There's a copper. Oh, switch. Oh, I didn't switch in time. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. Okay. That last hatch is three... Shit, I forgot again. That last hatch is three times stronger than their other ones, so they're not going to be breaking through it anytime soon. Let's just keep the explosive pressure up.
get some serious XP for that, don't we? Let's just bounce that off Big Mama's head. In fact, <laughs> it went out. It went out uh, side. Okay, is that it? Did we kill the horde? I think we killed the horde. Yeah, this this base is just kicking ass and taking names, man. I am, and it's such a simple, easy design too. Um, so you know, if we use this again on 35 horde 35, we're really not. We're gonna do the same exact thing. The only difference is that I'll have all of the hatches upgraded to the third level. So each hatch will be 21,000 hit points. Um, and otherwise, I mean, you know, because they don't, they hardly touch, they just don't, they completely ignore the blocks, right? It, the damage that's currently on the blocks is from my explosives. And so this is just, it's amazing how effective this, uh, this little base is. It's super simple. Okay, well, we killed the horde, so let's, um, put our luckies on and go take a look at, uh, the loot bags. And we got, um, we got two levels and almost a third level. Let's get that guy in place. Oh, you know what? I need to get, uh, I'm going to need to get some concrete out of here. For repairs. Okay, we got a blue pick. We'll sell that. We got a level one magnum and some ammunition. We don't seem to have as many uh, loot bags this time as we did last time. I wonder if it's just because we were using explosives. Not sure. Now we got a attack rifle. Just a level one though, so we'll probably um, part that one out. Here, let's eat some of that. A steel axe. Okay, let's get rid of that and we'll take the axe. Let's also get rid of this. Well, we might as well scrap it, right? Since we already have some scrap iron in our inventory. We can stand to eat, so let's do that. Okay. Got some black dye on those coveralls. Let's just look at the rest of them. And then I'll come back up and loot them later. Okay. More BDU pants. Ammo and the last bag. Okay, cool. Okay, well, um, guys, I'm just going to do some very, very minimal repairs. And um, when we're done with that... I mean, that was just too damn easy. <laughs> it really was. And I'm not complaining about that. I'm, I'm fine with it being too damn easy. But, uh, I mean, it's just so funny, though, because, you know, we're playing. Don't forget, we're playing on insane difficulty, right? And, oh, you know what? There's two more bags there. And this base is so simple. It's just such a small little dinky thing, and it's just kicking the shit out of the horde. It's so funny. So funny. Um, all right, let's put these... Oh, no, we want to keep our luckies on for these last couple of bags. Um, put those in there, those in there, those in there. Okay, yeah, let's check these really quick. Okay, and the last one. Oh, man, look at that. We already know it, of course, but that would have been cool. Uh, all right, so, yeah, I'm going to just do, you know, the very minimal repairs that we need to do to the base. Uh, it's essentially just repairing the, the little bit of splash damage that the explosives did. And depending upon where we are for Horde 35, we might be able to do grenades, because grenades, of course, do a lot more damage than pipe bombs do. We'll have to do a little bit of uh, repairing on that. Actually, we have some steel that we got out of, out of a bag, so I'll do that too. Anyway, um, what I'll do, guys, after I'm done getting this repaired is um, we have... What do we got next for quests? We've got three quests in the works. Um, and I th 
this one is in our town. So yeah, let's do this house old ranch too. Um, after I get uh, the base uh, repair. Okay, so I'll meet you guys over there in just a little bit. All right, guys, we are at the quest location. Uh, this is a POI that I have done many times. Uh, so the fat loots are actually over on the other side of the house here. And so what we're going to do is come through here. I wonder if we should... The problem with this place is that the zombos don't actually show up until... Wait a minute, what am I doing? <clears throat> they don't show up until um, you actually get down to where the loot is, so it's a little tricky to do. He's a feral. I don't see any Zeke's coming through this way. Oh, here they come. Will they all come down from the basement? That, that would be fine with me. Oh, shit. We got infected. And we got an abrasion. Lovely. Um, all right, do I have um, the candies? Oh, Edgar. What the hell are you doing, Edgar? I think I might have the candy in the bike that decreases the time, you know, the health stuff. Ooh, that's kind of a nice little find there. Okay, so anyway, um, let's see here. The loots are right underneath me. Usually there's a bunch of Zeeks that spawn like right underneath the floor here. And those ones that came after us could potentially have been those zombies, but if they're not, <laughs> then we're going to jump down there and um, have to face their wrath. So... All right. Well, let's um, let's go ahead and just get uh, our AK ready, and we'll just spray and pray if we need to. Okay, here we go. Nope. Okay. So yeah, that's those zombies that came after us were probably the ones that were uh, there. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Let's just kind of block that off for a second. Uh, we'll put our oh shit, dude. Somebody else going to drop down on our head? Okay. Let's get these opened up. Now, there's also some fairly decent loot across the way there, too, I think, if I remember right. So we'll check that out, too. Uh, but let's see what we got. Ammunition. More shotgun parts, always a good thing. Military stuff, and then the fat loots. Uh, right, well, stuff to sell, right? Stuff to sell. Okay, let's go over here. We'll take that. Ronald! Oh, thanks, Ronald. Some VDUs. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Those actually have better heat resist than our current VDUs. So I'm glad I caught that. Yeah, let's, um, let's trade them out. Okay, cool. I'm not going to loot the basic stuff, but like I said, uh, there's some stuff over here uh, in this little area. Yep, 
Yeah, there's a weapons bag. Okay, I knew there was something kind of good over here. Just couldn't remember exactly what it was. What's in here? Water? Okay, give us something good. Um, well, I mean, that's something good. It's kind of low level, but whatevs, right? There's a couple bookshelves up here, too. We might as well grab those. Whilst we're in the process of grabbing stuff. Are you dead? Yeah, she's dead. Alright, you can craft steel clubs. And we already know that, so we'll keep that to sell it later. Okay, I think that's it for the stuff that we want to loot right now. There are a couple of boxes in here, as I recall. Some magnum rounds, that doesn't suck. Okay, here's a box. Really? You gave us blunderbuss ammo game? Alright, well, I'll scrap it for um for paper. Okay, so we got a shoddy messiah in uh, working stiffs and another shoddy messiah. Oh no! Oh crap, I didn't think we would lose it. Oh man. God damn it. Stupid game. Alright. Oh no! What the hell? Usually when you break out of something below the, you know, a block, it stays in place. Crap. Okay, let's try and be a little more careful this time. What? Okay, don't break the block underneath it. There we go. Oh, man, that sucks. That sucks. There could have been an auto shotgun in that Messiah crate. <laughs> I mean, you never know, right? It could have been. Um, all right, let's bust out here, and I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to run back home and take some antibiotics real quick. Uh, and then I'll meet you guys back here, and then we'll do the quest for realsies. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do the quest for real. This is a fetch and to retrieve. So come up through the attic here. No, I'm sorry, a clear and retrieve. Come on, Zombos. Feral. Feral Zombos. We'll take those. Not too too much longer and we'll be doing our garden. I'm not taking that shit. Got a little purse action there. With no action in it. Does not surprise me in the least. We will take the brass, though. See if we can get a sneaky sneak off on this guy. Okay. Uh, incidentally, I went ahead and um, retired my crossbow, at least for now, because now we have the silenced pistol uh, that we can do silenced shots on. All right. There's probably going to be a Zeke right out here. Nope. Sometimes. Oh, shit! Well, there sort of kind of is. <laughs> There's usually a zombie standing right here. Uh, well, most of the time when I've done this PLI, there has been. There was a, definitely a zombie, just not the kind with two legs. Alright, we'll put that back there. Uh, we're doing okay on health. We're a little, little bit low, but not critically low at this point. There's some decent stuff inside of a purse. Oh, that's just worthless. So we'll be throwing it out. Brown dye. Okay, so let's scrap a doodle this. 
That can go, that can go, this can go, that can go. Okay. Down with the sickness. A little murky water. Ooh, weapons bag. Oh man, I forgot about this room. Shit, oh, oh, oh. stop, 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 stop. Put these on. Man, you should have come in here too, but I didn't think about it. Oh, look. <laughs> God damn it. We got a drum bot after we after we got the bought the schematic for it and then spent a bunch of steel making it. Well of course I had no idea I was gonna find one, but that doesn't surprise me. Ah uh, well, it is what it is, right? We got a second one now. Um cool. Okay. Let's see here. Little shamity sham. Did we already check this toilet? Yeah, we did. Okay. All right, so I think we're done in this part of the room. Another bathroom here. We have got so many vitamins. It's a nice problem to have. Well, it's not even really a problem at all. All right, let's get rid of that. I'm gonna actually chuck those two. We'll drink this, even though we don't really technically need to. Free up a slot. Okay, there's probably going to be a Zeke in there. Little Nurse Nancy action here. Okay, she's dead. Crack a book. This house is just loaded with fat loots. Um, we got a yellow quest. Let's take a look. Is this one we know? Kill some zombie soldiers. All right. Yellow quest day is coming up soon. Should have a Zeke in here. Okay. There's our satchel. Okay, that's done. Let's see what's in the desk. Bullets. Okay, we will take both of these, get the dyes off of them, because we'll use that to paint our house later. And then I'm just going to scrap it at all these things. All right, I think we're done in here. No, no secrets or plugs or anything? I don't think so. Well, other than that one, we just did. That coming from down below. We got three Zikaroos. Nobody in there. This is actually kind of a nice house. Come on, purse, give us something good. All right, that's not terrible. Not terrible. Pumpkin seeds. Oh, by the way, I found the schematic for the pumpkin bread. Not. Not too terribly long ago. Oh, I guess we're going to keep all that. We might have to take a quick trip out to the bike. Oh! <laughs> it didn't work out so well, did it? Yes, sir, Bob. We will take that. We already looked in there, right? Okay, kitchen loot time. A little chili action. Uh, we don't care about that, so we'll take the chili. Don't care about that. A 
stuff sucks. Um... Guess I don't care about that either. Come on, game. Give us something decent. This all sucks. Oh yeah, we'll take those. That's glue, man. That is glue. That's good stuff. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> we need to go to the bike. That's all there is to it. Let's close that door for the moment. Can we walk through there? Yeah. Cut that out. Come on, stamina. Stamina, hello. There we go. Okay. Bookshelves. Um, I thought we already knew how to do that. Well, we do now, even though we already have two. Two is all you ever need in a single player game. All right, we'll take that stuff to sell it. Is that three Zeekers or two? All right, let's see if we can get a... Oh, I guess we can't do that. All right, screw it. You both dead? Here another Zombo. You see, he must be down below. All right, let's see if we can keep from screwing up the things this time and not losing them. Pairs. Okay, so we just want to make sure we don't hit the block underneath the thing. What? <laughs> right, let's try that again. Motor tool parts. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Ah, nope, 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 nope. You stupid son of a. Here, we'll just go up that eye. A bag right there. It's actually got some vitamins in it. Let's let those guys go on by. Where you going, lady? Where, lady? You dead? Yeah, he did. All right, we better take a health. Let's get rid of that. Let's scrap a doodle of this. Let's scrap a doodle of this. 
Um, do, 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 do. We don't need one gunpowder. Don't need the plastic. I got lots of that. Okay. <clears throat> Nothing back there. Okay, we should have a Zeke in here. Oh, maybe we already got their attention. Okay. Um, I guess we have the luckies on. Oh, that's a nice, nice mod to have. Okay, yeah, we'll take all of that stuff. I like the reflex thing. In fact, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade that out for this. Much better. Okay, cool. All right, almost done, guys. Almost done. Okay, we want to be a little careful in this part because there's usually four zombos that spawn in and sometimes they can be like irradiated nasty stuff. I'm not taking that. Okay. Back. Is why, ladies and gentlemen, we carry explosives with us. Let's give them a couple. <laughs> I know I'm easily entertained. Okay, <clears throat> what do we got for the fat loots? Okay, and the good stuff. Another bandolier mod. And worthless frickin' iron armor. Uh, we'll take that, that, and that. And uh, we'll drink this, and I guess we'll take those. I'm not doing scrap. Well, you know what? We could do scrap, I guess. Scrap, scrap, scrap. All right, that's it. Let's, uh, where's our trader turn in for this one? Oh man, that's Trader Bob. Okay, we're not going back down that way yet. Because we've got we got to get these uh, other quests done here for Trader Joel uh, in his town. So that's probably what we'll do in the next episode. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and share. We've come shout the video. And we got company. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye.